Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys, we're going to talk about how to add events or event handling into our tree view application. So basically, we have created a tree view application from the previous tutorial and if we try to run our application tree view, we can see the tree view application and the root node, this PC with all the sub nodes, my documents, uh, my pictures, my music, and um, the sub nodes inside the my documents also. And we also added, you know, icons to our nodes. You can see here the yellow folder icon. So by default, guys, the root node is collapse or meaning closed by default. If we try to run again our application, we can see that the this PC root node is closed by default. So what if we want it to, you know, after running our application, um, extended by default, okay? So we can do that in our main controller, that Java. So after defining the root node, okay, we can set it to, uh, we can set it to be expanded by default. So we can use the root object and then set expanded and it's going to take a boolean value and we need to set it to true okay and then if you try to run again our application it should uh, be expanded or the root node should be expanded by default there you go and now we want to add events or mouse click events into this node so for example if we click on this pc or if you click on the my documents or if you click on the sub nodes it should display something that a node is click and we can display the name of the node so we can do that and we can try to modify our main controller that java so actually we can use or we can create a method right here so for example public void public void and then uh, so for example the name of method that you want is mouse click and then of course you can define the parameters and of course the content of the method but uh, in our case we can just use the scene builder to define the method that uh, should be called whenever a user click a node from the tree view so all we have to do is open up our main.fxml file and of course in here we can define the mouse click event and we can specify the method so for example the name of our method is mouse click okay and press enter and then of course we can save our main.fxml file and let's go back to our netbeans ide and we can update the main controller class right click the main.fxml file and then make a controller so it's going to update the main controller and now we have the mouse click event or method right here so basically what we can do is get the item that has been clicked by the user. So all we have to do is use the three item and then the type is string and then the name of our object is item and we, we can use the tree view object and then get selection model and then of course get selected item. So basically what we're doing here is we're just trying to get the item that has been clicked by the user. And after that, we can, of course, display the name or the value of the item. So we can just use the item object and then, of course, um, get the value of that particular item. So uh, save this, clean and build our application, and try to run again our application. And there you go. If we click on this particular item, it should, you know, display the, uh, the value or the name. The same with the other nodes inside our tree view. Okay. And it should work also with the sub nodes. Okay. Now, what if you want to display only the value if the user double clicks the items? So we can, you know, click the number of, uh, I mean, we can count the number of clicks. So we can just use the uh, event um, variable or I mean the event object for that. So all we have to do is 
uh, add if statement here and then event and then get click count and so for example the click count should be like two because we're trying to filter out events or double click events okay and then inside of course this if statement we can use the three item um, line and of course the system that out that print line so that uh, every time the user double clicks an item or a node it should display the value or the name of the node so clean and build our application once again and of course we can run this to try to preview now if we try to click on the node or any of the node we cannot see display or we cannot get the value or item value because we have to double click the nodes inside our tree view so, so for example double click the my music my pictures uh, my documents and then of course work files you can always uh, see the node uh, value or the name of the node in our output window okay so that's how you make use of the tree view events in JavaFX and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below and I think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and if you want to know more about JavaFX and Java in general you can ask questions below and you can watch the entire series of our JavaFX tutorial for beginners so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.